Hey y'all, happy Monday. Welcome back to Good Little Middle 2022. I know today and the next few days are going to be a little funky. Um, it feels like we're truly in 2020 T002. 2020 also. Uh, it feels to me like we took a little step back, but it is okay. You're here. I'm here. Uh, I'm really excited we're here together. But we are going to spend some time in some asynchronous video lessons to start off our spring 2022 semester, um, as I'm sure you figured out. Uh, hopefully you watched my video that I sent to you and your, your adults this weekend, um, or you listened to our call out, or just as you got to school today, you figured it out. But regardless, uh, even if this week, next week maybe, are a little funky, uh, we're here together, we'll get through this, it's not the end of the world. Um, we're, I still have high standards for you. I still expect you to meet these high standards or exceed these high standards because I know that's something that you are completely capable of. Even though you may not be in my physical classroom, uh, you can exceed in math. Uh, we've got plenty of health options available. You can help your, your, sorry, you can ask your neighbor, you can ask your host teacher, or you can send me a message, or you can join me on Teams. Um, the link is in our Schoology page. But today, to kick this off, uh, I got my agenda over there, so I've got to double check this. Uh, in our video lesson, so we're going to have this video lesson, then we're going to have some practice, and then we're going to have some extra math. Um, but in this video lesson, there's going to be three parts. There's going to be a welcome back and check in. That's what we're doing right now. Then there's going to be a number talk. And I'm really excited because you get to share your number talk response in the discussion post in our Schoology page. And then number three is we will begin our lesson five notes which is talking about exponents, something I'm really excited about. You all had questions about exponents last year when we were talking about the order of operations. Because remember, the order of operations, as we talked about last year, is parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. Uh, so we finally get to talk about that exponents, and I am excited. Ms. Peek's excited. We got together a little bit over the break uh, to talk about how we're doing this and make sure that we do this well, even in this strange virtual world again. But it's all right. We're not really virtual. You're here. I'm here. It's going to be a great time. Uh, so let's kick it off with our number talk. So here, 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 we've got two sides of our um, paper. On this side, we have 6. And on this side, we have 6 plus 4 minus 4. I want you to take some time and think about how these are the same and how these are different. In what way is this the same as this? What way is this the same as this? And how are the two sides different? So think about that. And then when you're ready, go to our discussion post in our folder. Or you can just write down your thoughts. Um, and then by the end of class today, make sure you put it in our discussion post. Also make sure you're answering in full, complete sentences. That means starting with a capital letter, ending with punctuation, grammatically correct, there's a subject, there's a predicate, we cannot start with because or and, no sentences can start with because or and because we are smart, competent, academic writers. So share your thoughts in our discussion post, it is on our Schoology page. How is this the same and how is it different than this? All right, well I'm going to put that over here and we're going to kick start our lesson today. Now you should have a copy of this our lesson five notes in front of you. If you don't, please ask your host teacher. They all have copies. Um, and if your host teacher is me, well, I have just forgotten. I'm so sorry. Ask me. I have copies. Um, but our opening exercise today is going to be to evaluate. And evaluate right there just means solve. My pen is very clearly tired. Had a break too. So as you solve these expressions, which are just these problems here, pay attention to how you arrived at your answers. So I want you to pause our video here, solve these three expressions, and think about how you solve them. Sorry, Ms. Rager's locked out of the building. I can't let her in though because we are recording this video. All right, so I hope you've solved these. I bet you noticed that there was Oop, there goes my pen. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 fours. There were 10 fours. And if you added 4 10 times, you would have gotten to 40. Hmm. Now I want you to think about the way that you got to 40. Did you add 4 plus 4 is 8, plus 4 is 12, plus 4 is 16? Or did you do 4 plus 4 is 8, 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 and add all of those 8's together? What did you do? And I bet you knew that this right here, they were 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 nines. And you knew adding 9 5 times got you to 45. And lastly, you knew there were 5 tens. And adding 10 5 times got you to 50. Oh. If we add the same number multiple times, we could write that as multiplication, right? So instead of adding 4 plus 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 4, that was 10 fours. We could just go ahead here and multiply 4 times 10. And 4 times 10 is 40. Instead of adding 9 5 times, we could do 9 times 5, and 9 times 5 is 45. And likewise with our 10s, we knew there were 5 10s. Yeah, you guessed already. 10 times 5, and 10 times 5 is 50. So as we're thinking about that process where multiplication is repeated addition, I want you to think, is there a process for repeated multiplication. Moving down here to example one, is there something we could do to write five times five times five times five times five, five times itself five times? Hmm. I bet there is, y'all. You know, get ready. It's super simple. What number are we multiplying itself times. And I, I really don't like this example just because we're going to have two fives there, but it'll be okay. We're multiplying five by itself. And when I say five by itself, I mean we're multiplying five times five many times. So that right there is going to be our base. So we're going to have a five right there because we're multiplying five times five times five times five times five. How many times are we multiplying five by itself. Well, there's one, two, three, four, five. So we're going to put what's called an exponent. We're going to put that five right there, and it becomes five to the fifth power. Five to the fifth power. Okay, just hold that in your mind. We're going to we're, we are going to move on to our example two, and we'll talk about example two a little bit more, just because I like that there are two different numbers here. So looking at example two, we are multiplying two times two times two times two. What number are we multiplying by itself? Absolutely, we are multiplying the two by itself. If I haven't said this yet, as always, when we are t taking notes together, make sure you are also taking these notes. Sorry, I let that slide. Oh my goodness. Um, so anything I've got on this paper, you should have on yours as well. We are multiplying what number by itself? You told me it was 2. So our 2 is going to be our base. And then our exponent tells us how many times are we multiplying that base by itself. And that's super simple. We are 1, 2, 3, 4. We're multiplying the 2 by itself 4 times. So our exponent is 4. So just to talk about a couple of words here. We have our number. And I'm going to write this just over here, just so we've got it nice and big and we can talk about the two parts. So we have the two, we have the four. Looks just like it did here. It's over here. There we go. So the two. The two is called the base. 
And the base is the number that we are multiplying repeatedly or many times. Oh, so sorry, I'm off the screen there. I'm a little bit out of practice. Let me zoom out there. So the base is the number we're multiplying repeatedly. And while you're writing that down, I'm going to remind myself how to spell repeatedly because I am a little out of practice as well. I did spell it right. Woohoo! Go me. So we have the base. And then the other, the other thing, guess what that is? That's called the exponent. So the 4 is our other number, or whatever number is kind of up in the air. We, our base is always in normal font, so just like you always write your numbers. And then our exponents are up in the air and off to the right of the number. They're often a little bit smaller, so if you have a full-size base, your exponent is going to be a little bit smaller. And this is our exponent. And our exponent tells us how many times we are multiplying the base by repeatedly. So the exponent tells us how many times we multiply the base by itself. So we ask ourselves, how many times are we multiplying 2 by itself? 4 times. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Now I want us to think in our heads, what is 2 times 2? Two? 2 times 2 is 4. Times 2 again is 8. Times 2 is 16. So 2 to the 4th power is 16. What an exponent is not is 2 times 4. It is not 2 times 4 because 2 times 4 is 8, and 8 is not 16. And one more thing we're going to add here is just how we read this number. We read this as 2 to the 4th power. And power is just how many times we're multiplying it by itself. So 2 to the fourth power, the exponent is the fourth power because we're multiplying the 2 by itself four times. All right, we got this. It is not 2 times 4, it is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. All right. So now we're going to move down here and do the opposite. We went from standard form to exponential form. Oops, wrong way there. And now we're going to go from our ex sorry, from our exponential form to expanded form. So, in order to go from our exponential form to expanded form, you're going to take your base. And in this case our base is 8, take our base, and we are going to write it by multiplying by itself the number of times that our exponent is. So our exponent is 3, it's to the third power, or in this case cubed, and we're going to multiply 8 times itself 3 times. So we're going to need 3 8s. It's not super tough, we got this. I'm going to make all of my 8s different ways. 8 times 8 times 8. Now remember, it is not 8 times 3. It is 8 3 times. So 8 times 8 times 8. All right. And then we're going to take on, I want you to take on number 4 by yourself. So I 
I will give you a minute and a half to take on number four, and then we'll come back together and talk about it. We're going to take about 20 more seconds. If you finished, just hang tight for just another 20 seconds, or you can fast forward 20 seconds. All right, that's our time. So in order to go from our exponential form to expanded form. We're going to take our base, and in this case our base is 10, absolutely. And then we're going to ask ourselves, how many 10s are we multiplying together? Well, and that's just our exponent. Our exponent tells us that we need 6 10s. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And we know when we're going from an exponential form to expanded form, we're going to multiply all of those tens together. So just putting in the multiplication sign between them. All right. Awesome. So far, so good. I love it. We're going to take on a few more together. Oh, this one is really fun. I'm really excited for number five because for the first time, we are taking on a letter. Hmm. Now what this is not asking us to do, and it has not asked us to do, it has not asked us to solve it. It just says write each expression. We, we did not come up with an ultimate answer for either of these. So it's okay that we've got a letter here. We're going to do the same thing. We have our base, we have a base, our base is G, and our exponent is a number, it's 3. So in order to go to expanded form, all we're going to do is take our base, which is just a g, and we're going to multiply it together the number of times of our exponent. Since our exponent is 3, we need 3 g's. g times g times g. There we go. All right, and this is where we are going to pause our time together for today. Tomorrow we'll come back and take on the rest of this, but I want you to have some good practice with going from expanded form to, sorry, from expanded form to exponential form and exponential form to expanded form. Um, so I'm going to kick it back over here and let you know what we're doing next. It's all clearly in Schoology, which is awesome. Um, we will be going into IXL, practicing skill D1, where we're just doing the same thing we did. We're writing multiplication expressions using exponents. Um, one of the important things to do with this is, and I, I did this myself, I practiced the whole skill myself, um, there's a button on there that allows you to write the exponent up in the air. If you put the two numbers side by side, you have not written an exponent. If you're trying to write 2 to the 4th power, and you just write 24, that's not going to be right. So you've got to put the 2 in, push the little square button that's under the number that allows you to put it up in superscript. That's just what you call the text going up. Then put in your 4, and then hit enter. So 2 to the 4th, not 24. 2 to the 4th. Awesome. Uh, you know how to 
me, sorry, you know how to ask questions. Remember, ask your neighbor, ask your host teacher, ask me. We are all happy to help, most likely. I know uh, at least your host teacher and I are both happy to help. Uh, our Teams link is on our Schoology page if you would like to get there. Uh, and if you need anything else at all, please just let me know. Have an awesome day. Goodbye. Welcome back, Trojans.